Hey folks, Shanuka here with a tutorial on how to create a simple scrolling parallax background in Blender. You would use the parallax effect to create the illusion of depth and three-dimensional space in 2D animation, usually where there is some kind of camera move. Um, what the parallax effect essentially means is that as you or the camera is moving, whatever is closer to you seems to move past faster than something that's in the distance. So if you're in a moving car, for instance, as you look out the window, a tree by the road will shoot past you a lot faster than a mountain that's in the distance. Ever notice that? So here's what my scene would look like with the flat background. Hmm, uh, something seems a bit off, right? And here's what it'll look like with the parallax effect applied. Much better, huh? So in this step-by-step -step tutorial, I'll show you how to make a simple 2D side-scrolling parallax scene in Blender using this Ghibli-inspired project. So I started off with my character animated in grease pencil, and I have my background split into several layers. So the background or foreground elements that are going to be closest to the camera are the rocks and the ground. So they're going to be moving very fast. So it's important that they are long enough that you don't run out of background before the duration of the shot is done. And elements that are way further back in the distance, like the sky and this big cloud for instance, will be moving a lot slower, so they can be a lot shorter in length. All my background elements are painted in Photoshop, but painting them in any software will do. And they are all exported as PNGs with a transparent background. I'm now importing them as planes into Blender and layering them around my character till I am somewhat satisfied with the composition and the scale of each of the elements. Looks pretty good to me. So starting off with the ground, I'm going to move the plane right along to the rightmost end here and insert a keyframe for this location. And moving to the other end of the timeline, I'm going to move the plane to the leftmost end and insert a keyframe there as well. Uh, and Blender automatically adds some easing in the speed at the beginning and the end, which I'm going to change by changing to linear interpolation. So that makes the speed pretty much constant. I'm going to repeat this process with all the other background layers as well. Feel free to play around with how things overlap and make sure that the composition looks good throughout the duration of the shot. There you go. Now you have a parallax scrolling background. I will also be making another video going more into the details of this project and creating Ghibli inspired animations. Be sure to subscribe so you can check it out. Also consider joining our Discord to hang out with us and other creatives. Links to that in the description. See you next time.